Hi, my name is Julian Velasquez. I am the Global Innovation Prototyping and Design Lead at DuPont, and my job is to help design and develop interactive demonstrations that inspire our visitors to create next generation solutions with DuPont. So the focus here at the Silicon Valley Innovation Center was to promote awareness of DuPont and what we do. Historically, DuPont's been uh, an East-based company, and now that we have a, a more significant presence here at the West Coast, we wanted to do something special. We wanted to make sure that we took advantage of the ecosystem of Silicon Valley to help demonstrate who we are as a company and what we do. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Abdullah Zafar. I'm with the DuPont uh, Transportation and Industrial Business, and I'm located at the Silicon Valley Technology Center. In 2018, when we started planning for the Innovation Center, um, the question uh, that was raised was, okay, so how do we highlight DuPont uh, capabilities? We have such a broad portfolio of products, technologies, uh, that how do we bring together the breadth of DuPont in a device, highlight uh, A, DuPont's problem-solving capabilities, and B, how materials can enable really innovate all kinds of innovations that our customers are seeking. Part of our strategy here at the Innovation Center was to look at unique ways to demonstrate our materials and capabilities. So we turned to 219 Design to help us do that. My name is Miguel Piedrahita. I'm a co-founder at 219 Design. 219 Design is a product design and engineering consultancy, and we help our clients develop innovative new products. When DuPont approached us with this project, we started by doing several rounds of brainstorming and ideation, where we developed lots of ideas that could potentially meet DuPont's goals. We decided to move forward with the drone, which we felt was ripe for innovation. With materials and processes from DuPont, we realized we could improve robustness, reduce weight, and streamline assembly and manufacturing steps. In parallel, we were working with experts from DuPont to understand how best to leverage their materials and processes to maximize the drone's performance. My name is Shannon Dugan. I'm one of the applications engineers here at the DuPont Silicon Valley Technology Center. And this is the drone that we produced using DuPont materials throughout all of its construction. Of particular note is this thermoformed canopy piece that utilizes our thermoformable DuPont ME603 ink that was formulated specifically to be able to withstand the heat and stretching of the thermoforming process and still maintain conductivity in the finished part. All right, my name is Tom Fisher, I work with DuPont. So when we're making a drone, one of the objectives is to make it as lightweight as possible. So to that end, if you have circuit boards on here, which are rigid circuit boards, they're pretty thick, they're pretty heavy, they're big and square. It's basically a heavy board. Now, if you can replace that with something thin and flexible, as we did here, you can see this thin flex circuit, this black circuit here, that goes to the control area and the battery. That's uh, very, very thin, very lightweight, and it gives you lots of design freedom, basically putting the circuitry wherever you want. Uh, hi, my name is Steven Bowles, Flex Circuit Applications Engineer here at SVTC. So in this drone, Pyrolux is used uh, as a flex circuitry in the center of the drone, uh, connecting into the rigid materials and distributing power and signal out uh, to the rest of the drone. We use uh, both a clad material and a coverlet to insulate the circuitry that's on the design. Hi, my name is Chris Alcantara, and I'm a prototype engineer here at the Silicon Valley Technology Center. I'd like to talk about the uh, 3D printed materials that DuPont offers. We have Zytel and Hytrel. So Zytel is a much more rigid material uh, that's here used for the frame of the canopy and also the overall structure holding the canopy together. Uh, Hytrel is a much softer material that we have designed to uh, soften the landing of uh, the drone. All this can be printed in just a few days. The various components of the drone gradually came together. We performed final assembly and then did the integration and testing here in our office. We were finally ready for our maiden flight. So those initial talks with 219 Design eventually led to this, our very own drone. 
made up of almost 80% DuPont materials, it is a great way to showcase what DuPont is capable of. Uh, now the question comes, okay, so what were the key learnings during this? I think one key learning uh, is really no one scientist or one person uh, could come up with this uh, structure that you're seeing right now. So it was a it was a team effort, okay? And it was a team effort where we reached out to our outside collaborators and partners. So that's the key that uh, DuPont is great at solving problems. So whenever we solve problems just on our own, A, it takes longer. B, it's not always the most optimum solution. And C, it, it really, uh, we may miss uh, a number of other potential options because for every problem there are multiple solutions out there. So the value of working with partners to solve problems was one key learning here.